What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah. We ran into Entei. So, in the last episode, we went through, we went through the Burnt Tower, and we triggered the event of the roaming Pokemon. Two of the three roaming Pokemon will be roaming around all of Johto, and at some point in time, if you're going from place to place, you will be able to find these two Pokemon. Those Pokemon happen to be Entei and Raikou, Raikou, whatever your name is. I ran into Entei, and well, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to go with a Quick Ball right here if I have one. Yes, here's a Quick Ball. I'm going to attempt it. Of course, I'm here trying to be the hero with Togepi because I'm trying to evolve it. Or no, I'm not trying to evolve it, but I'm trying to train it. And what? Oh, oh, nearly got it. Okay, so as you guys can see, it will flay. So yeah, that is exactly what's going to happen. Now here's another thing too. It is currently Saturday, so this person right here will appear next to these trees, and this is Sunny. Hi, I'm Sunny of or Sunny of Sunday. Actually, this is Sunday. Huh. Okay. Oh, and the game is Sunday. So this is Sunny of Sunday, meaning it's Sunday today. I was told to give you this if I saw you, and we get ourselves a magnet, which is a very useful item for any type of electric-type Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, I remember. A Pokemon that knows electric-type moves should hold it. My sis Monica said it powers up electric-type moves. Okay. Alrighty. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys... Is I'm going to train my Pokemon just a little bit more. If I run into another, uh... Yeah, if I run into another legendary dog, then, well, we'll see what happens. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are back in Necrotech City. And, uh... This is how, uh... This is how long... This is how long that I haven't played this game. Yeah, I actually thought that you can actually find the legendary dogs through the Pokédex. But the funny thing is, guys, if uh, you go straight to your Pokégear, go into the map section, you can already take a look at where these two legendary beasts are at. As you guys can already tell, Entei and Raikou are... Like, you know, they're, they're like, I'm in the middle of both of these guys. And this would be... Well, Nintendo or Pokemon, the company, whatever it is, you know, they made it a little bit easier for you to actually locate these Pokemon. But the best place to actually capture these guys is right here in Ecrutech, down to the, uh, the, the or down to the, uh, well, down to Route 37, because they always come back somehow. So, we will be getting there, eventually, once we get a little stronger. Now, the reason why we were battling and training our Pokemon is because we're going to be going up against this next gym leader. And, yeah, we have to be uh, right there in the level 20s, you know, because he's got a pretty strong team, all consisting of level 21, 23, and 25. Yeah, you don't want that. Plus, Togepi is going to be the one that's going to be, well, kind of a... Kind of helping us out right here because it is a normal type Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and see what other moves we can actually teach it because it didn't learn anything else. So, let's see. We got Rock Tomb. I don't think it's going to be able to learn that. Uh, only Hercules can learn it and Unlucky. Return is a move that anybody can learn. And, well, unfortunately, it can't do anything right here. And, well, let's see. The foe is taunted into rage that allows it to to use only attack moves for two for four turns so let's go right ahead and see what we can do with taunt right here and it looks like nobody can learn it good gravy probably would have been a, a good move to use attract is one of them let's see attract everybody can learn attract and togepi is a male okay and well yeah <laughs> Payback attack. Okay, so this is a dark type move. Please let somebody learn this. Nobody can learn this. Good gravy. Yeah, we we, we, we can't do nothing. Okay, so let's see you turn, you turn. Nobody can learn it. Okay, screw it. We were prepared for this. Alrighty, so it is time for us to go into the next badge, or the next gym, and that is the Ecrotic City Pokemon gym, uh, gym badge, or gym. The Ecrotic City gym. And, of course, the leader is Morty, the mystic seer of the future. So let's go right ahead and take this uh, this challenge right here. And, oh, holy crud. Okay, so it turns out this is considered a cave. Hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to see anything right here. So let me switch it up 
Let me switch up the this movement right uh, real quick. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are in a much more toned down this movement emulator. Okay. So again, before you start asking me, this is what's going on, guys. Uh, I am currently using the Dismume 0.9.13.16 uh, or uh, time 64 and all that stuff. What I was using was an emulator, a Dismume emulator that uh, had the graphics a little bit better. I mean, you can see the 3D and all that stuff. So let me let me go ahead and uh, just show it to you guys right here. So as you guys can see, the gym is more pixelated than anything. It's not 3D. That's basically what it is. The the emulator with the better or with the best 3D graphics and all that stuff. I guess it doesn't work in caves nor in this gym, so that's why we have to switch it up and all that crud. Anywho, let's go ahead and just continue our battle right here. So, yo, champ in the making. The trainers you here use ghost type Pokemon at will. A ghost is like a shade or a phantom. It won't do any good to use physical strength alone. That is true. That's why we have to have or you know our special attackers right here and just real just remember something here guys um we're still in pokemon heart gold soul silver they are still not using any other pokemon or ghost type pokemon they're gonna be using the same old same old uh ghost types from generation one as you guys can see gas leagues right here and like the guy said before yeah physical attacks will not work and well they're fast and uh yeah <laughs> so here we go surf attack for the win and just like that ghastly has been defeated now another thing too guys these ghost type pokemon like to use curse this is a crazy move where it's kind of like toxic except they take half their hp in order to inflict a curse on you as you guys can see here's that curse attack it takes half their hp and yeah we're gonna be getting hurt so we have to switch out our pokemon but that is a big opening for us so that's two wins right there and here comes the curse as you guys can see we are losing a boatload of hp so we need to switch out our pokemon let's go straight to cinder right here cinder let's go okay cinder let's get this you and your flaming mohawk Alrighty, so let's go with the flame wheel attack for the win. And look at that. Flame wheel does the trick. Alrighty, Ghastly. Where you where you be? Where you go? And here comes another Ghastly. So let's continue on. And well, let's go right ahead and do this. Flame wheel for the win. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. Now, have I overtrained my Pokemon? No, because, <laughs> yeah, Morty, he is no joke. He really isn't a joke. And you know what? I'm going to continue on right here. I'm going to conserve the good old Togepi for the final battle because, well, yes, it does have its psychic attack. The only thing is that, you know, it's its only useful attack. Metronome, yeah, not that useful. It's pretty random and all that stuff. So there we go. Defeated Ghastly. And just like that, Cinder has won. And, uh, well, after defeating a trainer, this will increase... Oh, wow. Huh! This will decrease the visual, so we have to remember where we're at. And look at that. Okay, so... There is one thing that I forgot to do. And we need to do it real quick because, yes, I'm probably not going to remember. So, we did get ourselves a magnet. And this is actually useful for this situation right here because, well, you know... Fluffle definitely needs a... It definitely needs a, you know, a, a boost in its attack. The Shell Bell right here, I'm going to give it to Togepi because, yeah, this is going to be one of those... This is going to be one of those battles I think that, you know, it's going to be needing it. And then the Quick Claw, let's go ahead and give this to... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's give it to Lucky because it is slow and some of these ghost type Pokemon, they just... They're, they're, for some odd reason, they're faster than us. So, let's go. Not sure of your way? Defeat me if you want a hint. Well, I like the old gym. Not really, but... Here it is, guys. Taking on Medium Grace. And she's going to be coming out with a very speedy Haunter right here. Alrighty, let's go. Surf attack, and well, here comes its Mean Look attack. If you guys remember, Mean Look does 
or yeah, innate will disables a Pokemon's ability to say uh, to to switch out. So here we go, Surf Attack, and here we go again with a Confuse Ray. You got to keep uh, you, you got to be careful for that one right there too. So let's see. Come on, don't be confused. Help me out here, Lucky. Yes, Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, Hunter has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. And well, here comes a Hunter again. So we're gonna be switching it out. Let's go straight for, uh, uh, let's go for Cinder. And well, let's see what happens right here. So Hunter, how you doing? Bring it on, give me more experience points. Go Flame Wheel. And well, thankfully Cinder is a, a much faster Pokemon than this guy. So there it is, Cinder for the win. Okay, look at that, and well, what? That's right, and well, unfortunately, we lose the ability to see. Have you trouble finding your way around? The path is right before our eyes. Yeah, okay, so one step up, one step right there, and look at that. Oh, crap, baskets. Oh, my God, these people are, they're just, okay, one, one down, one, two, three, four. Okay, four steps, okay. Trying to memorize this, although the CTE is probably hidden in, so here we go. Dig it on medium Edith, and she is coming out with her Hunter. All right, let's see if this quick law actually works on us, and well, no. Come on. Sucker punch, you suck. Okay, so here we go. Surf attack, and that nearly takes down Hunter, and well, here comes another sucker punch. And here we go. Surf attack. For the win, and just like that, Haunter has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, and look at this, Lucky grows to level 23, and Edith has been defeated, yes, wins and losses, she has experienced both. And, well, let's see. Okay, so, let's see, one down, one, two, damn it! Okay. Okay, so, the funny thing is, guys, if you mess up on one, Every single one of these uh, paths that you've been for, been on beforehand, they will light up again. So do not worry. Um, I think it's best if you actually fail that first time. And well, here it is, guys. Here's another uh, individual right here, and I shall win. Yeah, he's blocking our way and all that crud. So here we go. Taking on Median Martha, and that's a she. So my bad. Okay, so. Let's go, Lucky. Speed it up a little, Surf Attack. And why are we... Okay, so, seriously, guys. This is getting on my case. Lucky, come on, use that Quick Claw. We are the most unlucky person in the world, and, well, here comes the Surf Attack, and there it goes. Ghastly has been defeated. What now? And, well, here comes a Haunter. So, let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Cinder right here. Okay, alrighty. Two. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a flame wheel. And there you go. For the win, Haunter. Bam. Go to sleep. Literally, go to sleep. And there we go. Cinder grows to level 28. And, well, let's see. Medium Martha is about to send Ghastly. So let's go right back to a good old buddy Lucky right here. Alrighty. Bring it on. All right, Lucky. Please, use that Quick Claw. Please, come on. Be cool. Be cool, homeboy. Let's go, Surf Attack and Crap Baskets. Yes. We are not, uh, yeah, we're not Lucky. We are not the luckiest, not the bit, not the, not the least bit. So here we go. Come on, Lucky. And damn it. Okay, so we got to speed this up a little because I know, I know for a fact that we're going to be hitting ourselves. So here we go, Curse. And there we go. We win. And that prevents us from losing our HP for the curse. And, well, Media Martha defeated. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to just jump off the, the, the little edge because, yes, I, I prefer seeing everything where I'm going. And, well, here we go. Right here. And let's see. We're going to go upstairs. And there we go. What's up, Morty? How's it been? I haven't seen you, muchacho. So, let's go right ahead and use a super potion on our Pokemon right here. 
because, you know, Lucky has been putting in some work right here. And try it again. Alrighty, so, let's see, what's next? So let's go ahead and use the Pokemon that we have been saving. That is Togepi. Now, it is a normal type Pokemon. It does have a psychic type move. The best of two worlds because all of Morty's Pokemon are both psychic, or no, not psychic, but they are both ghost and, uh, and poison type. So that gives me a distinct advantage. So bring it on. It's good of you to have got to come. Here in Ecotech, Pokemon have long been revered. It is said that the rainbow-hued Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. I see a shadow of the person who will make the Pokemon appear. I believe that person is me. You're going to help me reach that level. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number four against Morty himself. Well, look at him. He's uh, in his cool pose and everything. He's coming out with his Ghastly. And, well, we do have an advantage. Because, well, you know, even though he's coming out with some mean looks and all that stuff, that, that, that right there is not, you know, it's not scaring me not the least bit. So here we go. Extra sensory. Finish him. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. So... We're going to continue on with this whole, you know, this whole thing. And yes, he's going to be coming out with his Haunter. Now, remember, this Haunter right here will be at level 21. He does have an extra Haunter, which will be at level uh, 23. And, well, look at that. Coming in with a Hypnosis. you got to be careful for this one right here, too, guys, because Haunter may have Dream Eater. And that is something that can affect the Togepi. So let's go right ahead and, well, Crud Baskets. Okay, so... Technically, we have a total of three Awakenings right here. Chesto Berry and an Awakening. And, well, let's see. Told you. I told you. So, let's go right ahead with the... Uh, oh, crap, Baskets. Okay, so this is going to happen. All right, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Cinder right here because this is not going to work out. He's going to, of course, throw a Dream Eater. Not effective. Let's go Flame Wheel. Like I said before, guys... Ghost-type Pokemon are some of the fastest Pokemon. And, well, here comes a Hypnosis. And it missed. Jeez. Okay, so here we go again. Flame Wheel for the win. And just like that, we're kicking some butt, taking some names with another Flame Wheel. Look at that. Okay. Say goodbye to Haunter. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Togepi get some points, especially Cinder. And this guy's going to be coming out with a Haunter. Now, what I'm going to do right here is going to go with Fluffolt. Even though it does not have a, a Quick Claw anymore, I know exactly what I'm going to try and do here. So I'm going to try and lower this guy's speed. So let's go with a Thunder Wave attack. And yes, that does not do anything to us. So here we go, Thunder Wave attack. This will take down its speed. And just to make sure of it, we're going to throw a Cotton Spore because look at that. And, are you serious? Okay, Cotton Spore, come on, help me out here. So there you go, guys. Cotton Spore will sharply lower this guy's speed by two levels. And, well, let's go. Thundershock. Oh, yes. And, oh, crap baskets. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to go to sleep right here. This is not going to happen, so we're going to switch it out. We're going to go to a Pokemon that's a little bit uh, luckier, so let's go with Lucky right here. And here comes a mean luck. Yeah, okay, so that right there doesn't really scare me either. So here we go, Surf Attack for the win. Yes, we're being strategic, guys. Very, very strategic, and well, look at this. Gengar does have a Citrus Berry, and here comes a Hypnosis Attack, so let's see. We're going to try and go off with the Surf, and here comes a Shadow Ball, so Shadow Ball again, and well... That messes us up. So we got two Pokemon who are asleep. Let's go with Cinder and Flame Wheel for the win. Damn it. Okay, so here we go. One more. And there you go. Biggest threat has been defeated. Yes, 500 experience points from everybody. You get experience points. And here comes Haunter. This is going to be his level 23 Haunter. And this guy, well, Speedy as always, going to be a dick. No, it's not over yet. Still, well, I, we can do it. Okay, so here we go. Flame Wheel for the win. And, well, let's see. That nearly beats him. And, well, 
Morty has just wasted. Yeah, Morty has just wasted a, a move right there. So let's go right ahead and beat this guy. And of course, he's going to be throwing out a hyper potion. So here we go. Flame wheel for the win. Come on. Ah, oh, crap baskets. Okay, so let's finish this guy off. Seriously, what is it with the sucker punch? So here we go. Sucker punch for the win. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated Morty. How is this possible? It is, it, it is super possible right here. Okay, so he's like, I don't think our potentials are so different. But you seem to have something more than that. So be it. This badge is yours. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am literally throwing out that peace sign. What's up? By having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including traded Pokemon, will obey you. Also, Pokemon will be able to use Surf. Here's another thing. I want you to have this, too. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves the TM30. This is Shadow Ball. It causes, it causes damage to reduce the special defense and use it if it appeals you. Yes, I get it. The person, in the, the, person the Komodo Girls were talking about must be you. Never mind. You should be strong enough to uh, to go across uh, to go across the sea. When you go to the west, or when you go west, then south, you'll reach Olivine City. Why don't you head for it? Well, I will, but I do have other plans, guys. I have lots of other plans that I kind of want to do this. I kind of want to do something different. So there it is, guys. We have won our fourth badge. I feel victorious. I feel strong. I feel like a pip right here. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the hardware right here. So let's go straight to our trainer card. And look at that. Four badges in all. That's right. I am... I am... Yeah. I'm the best. I'm the best there ever was. Anywho. The next episode... Actually, the next few episodes, guys. It's going to be uh, somewhat of a side quest right here. Now that we are unable to use Surf... This this is definitely going to be fun. Uh, we're going to be we're probably going to be going back to the um, the ruins of Alf because we got a little something we got a little something that we need to do over there. There's been uh, it's been you know in my mind for quite some time. And then what else? Uh, yeah, from there we're going to probably going to be going to Mahogany Town because uh, I kind of do want to get myself the experience here before I start doing anything else. So. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, you know, thank you guys for, uh, you know, being patient as always. And thank you guys all for the donations. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.